It seems like only yesterday that I stood there upon that cliff top, looking down into the abyss of my life. Everything that I'd ever loved taken from me. Defeating the Lords of Shadow had been a hollow victory. Now I was on a journey. A journey that I could never imagine in my darkest nightmares. As I stood there contemplating my fate, a voice entered my thoughts. A cry for help that I could not ignore. A debt was owed. A life for a life, and what was left of my broken humanity felt obliged to do the honourable thing. To repay that debt. Looking back now, I realise that none of us has any real control over our fate. We are like leaves on the wind, to be blown wherever we may.
you attack me! Glad you came. Follow me. I know how you're feeling. Alone, betrayed. You get used to it, you know. That isn't true. Or you would not have spared me that day. Do you now regret it? You called me here. Why? You've destroyed the Lords of Shadow, but in doing so, you have unleashed a greater evil. And what is it you want me to do about it? A powerful demon is coming. A creature that knows no pity or mercy, and who is bent on destroying this world. Very few know that long ago, before the Lords of Shadow came, there was a fierce battle here. The three founding members of your brotherhood fought a creature called the Forgotten One. This creature had been summoned by the evil Bernard family, who owned the castle at the time. But things went badly wrong for them. The Forgotten One escaped its bonds. The founders knew they could not destroy the Forgotten One, so they waited for their opportunity during the fight and locked up the demon in a dimensional rift that they created using their combined powers. This fortress was used for that prison, and the Brotherhood built new areas around it to house the creature deep within. As you know, years later the Founders transcended as heavenly spirits, in the process creating the Lords of Shadow. It was not by chance that my mother chose this particular castle. Carmilla hated the other lords, but she feared what could happen if the Forgotten One should ever escape. You have destroyed them, and so the power that kept the Forgotten One locked within his prison has been weakened. It's only a matter of time before he breaks free and returns to the world. I care not for the world or its problems. Then you are a fool! The creature will simply reduce this world to ashes in revenge for centuries of captivity. Everyone will die. There will be nowhere to hide. We are the only ones with power enough to stop him. Tell me, would you have the souls of the innocent on your conscience for eternity? Then show me what I must do. Mother once told me that the entrance to the ancient fortress of the Brotherhood was in this room.
Great! You did it! Evil is drawn to this place like a moth to the flame, and I could not at that moment deny that I myself had returned. Now, as I look back, I see the crooked path that I had been set upon all those years before, leading me inexorably to this moment. I can still see her face in my mind's eye. Poor dear Laura. Such a sad tale as ours. A tale of heroes who strove to save humanity, only to lose our own. These are the remains of the original fortress. 